Hello, YouTubers! Welcome back to Johnny Snack YouTube channel. In my last video, I talked about how to create your own 40 gate home lab using permanent evaluation license, which is free. You can get from 40 net website. I showed you how to create in two virtual machines for your firewalls, and we have two Windows machine as a test machine. At the end of video, I created a VPN IPsec tunnel using a wizard. In this video, I'm gonna bring a little bit more about the IPsec VPN tunnel. I'm gonna put the BGP protocol in, and also I'm gonna create in a VTI tunnel, which already in there, but it's on number the VTI tunnel this time because we're gonna use in BGP. We're gonna give the IP address. I'm not going to use FortiGate wizard, I'm going to use a custom wizard to create in this VPN tunnel, which can represent more typical use cases in your real production environment. So now, let's start it. A little bit more about my lab environment I created in my last video. I'm using VMware Workstation. I have four virtual machines created, two of them for FortiGate firewall. I'm using 2 gig RAM, one virtual CPU, 30 gig for hard drive, hard disk, two network adapters. The reason for two because the limitation for permanent evaluation license only valid for three interfaces. Since we're gonna create a new virtual tunnel interface, that will become the another one. If you have more than three, one of the interfaces is gonna lose the IP address once you reboot it. So this has to be clear that permanent evaluation license has some limitations. That's one of them. I do have PC1, which has IP 10.1.1.2, I can pin 10.1.1, which is already configured. Same thing on 40 gate, two virtual machine, two interface, and then PC2 is for testing using IP 10.2.2. I can pin 10.2.2.1 here. That's how this topology looks like. Right now, there's nothing configured other than the interface IP address. There's no other interface other than LAN and WAN. There's no VPN tunnel configured. I already removed all of them, reset by restore the configuration from the previous backup. So you can backup your configuration and restore it. Now, let's create our BGP VTI 40 gate VPN tunnel. So we're gonna create the IPsec tunnel between 40 gate 1 and 40 gate 2 using their WAN IP address. After that, we're gonna put the IP address on the VTI interfaces. Of course, we're gonna create a firewall policy to allow traffic between those two LAN networks. We don't need to create a static route since we're going to enable BGP. Create a new IPsec tunnel. As mentioned, we're going to use in custom template. Remote gateway IP, the WAN IP. Interface. Of course, it's gonna be on a WAN port. We enable NAT transversal. We're gonna put that pressure key. We're gonna use IKE version one, main mode, encryption, and using the basic default ones. For phase two selectors, and keep it open. Basically, all networks can talk to each other from both ends. Put the dash. SHA-1. For the evaluation license, you only can use those simple encryption algorithms such as DAS. There's no triple DAS AES. For lab environment, that should be okay. 
as you can see, the tunnel is not up since we haven't configured any other part yet. So we go back to our second firewall. Same thing, create IPsec tunnel using custom template. Push a key. So that's for our first step, which is create our IPsec tunnel use custom template. In the second step, I'm going to create in a policy to allow the traffic to go in through. But before that, you may want to check your interface here. You will see we have one interface tunnel interface, which is our VTI interface, but there's no IP address assigned to it. Let's create a firewall policy, and we're going to allow the traffic between those two LAN zones from test 1 to test 2. No NAT needed. Service gonna be all. Same thing on Gateway 2. We're going to create a firewall policy. Now we created our policies we needed. Now we're going to next step. Configure our interface IP for our virtual tunnel interface. We're going to go back to network, go back to interface, expand the WAN interface, double click on the interface, and I gave the IP address. Remote side will be 32 you can allow pin save it same thing on the 40 gate 2 
enable pin. That's how we configure our VTI interface. So we're going to go to the next step, configure our BGP. In this step, we're going to set up our BGP. As you can see, we don't have any static route. We're going to use dynamic routing protocol BGP to pass the route from each other. So local AS number based on our topology. We're going to give 65511 for the 40 gate one. Route ID, we're going to use our VTI interface IP address 172.16.1.1. Now we need to add our neighbor. We're going to use another side VTI IP address and the remote AS number 65512 as our peer. You can put the password or you can leave it empty. Click OK. Networks, we're going to put our local networks here, which is 10.1.1.0 slash 24. Apply. Settings saved successfully. Same for the 40 gate 2. Local AS number 65512. Route ID is VTI IP address. Neighbor IP address 172.16.1.1. Remote AS number 65511. Local network IP address slash 24. Now the setting has been completed. Let's summarize it again. We have our interface, we have our BGP configuration, we have our firewall policy, and then we have our IPsec tunnel. So now what are we going to do? We're going to test it. After all those configuration being done, then you can start to send out some traffic to trigger the IPsec tunnel to be built. So we can test it using pin to test from test one machine to test two or vice versa. Previously, when we trying to pin 10.2.2.2, it wasn't working. Now let's give it a try. Now it's working. You can also go back to check the tunnel interface. It's up. If you go to BGP, you can check the BGP neighbor connection has been established. You also can see tunnel status change to green and up status. Further, you can go to command line to get BGP status or get your IPsec tunnel status. You can get your BGP neighbor status. The route has been advertised and received.
you can see we received the route 10.2.2.0 and next hop is 172.16.1.2 which is our neighbor's VTI port get route DGP get VPN tunnel IKE gateway Details local gateway, remote gateway SA. As we can see, our tunnel is up and running. We went through four step settings as long as you make sure those settings is consistently in both sides, then your tunnel be up and running and the lamp the BGP gonna running over through this IPsec tunnel. So that's all for this video. Hope you like this video. If yes please give me a thumb up. If you haven't subscribed my channel please do that will give me a great support. Thank you for watching. See you in my next video.